What's up, you guys? How are you all doing? I am doing great, and I hope you guys are too. I'm just going to go about talking about this artist, Billie Eilish. She's always been a big inspiration to me, going from nothing to one of the most famous singers in the whole world. <clears throat> and that, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it had nothing to do with her parents and all the industry connections that they have. I'm sure she just happened to go viral one day because she's definitely way more talented than all the other singers you see on YouTube and Spotify. I'm not just going to go say this girl isn't talented though, because she definitely is talented. She's a great singer. I would say that the majority of her songs do slap. She got herself in the news today for making an Instagram post about the Texas abortion law. And this is what I was going to talk about today with you guys. This law is Senate Bill 8. It bans the abortion of a fetus once the cardiac activity can be detected, and according to the article, which takes around six weeks before the women even know that they are pregnant. This article saying that cardiac activity can be detected six weeks before the women know they're pregnant. Has the person who wrote this article, has Chris Mack ever heard of pregnancy tests? A pregnancy test can detect a pregnancy pretty much right when the pregnancy starts. If a girl's being responsible, and understands how her body works, she would know to get a pregnancy test at least four weeks after she got pregnant. This new law also doesn't make any exceptions for assault victims or incest victims. Uh, guys, what is an incest victim? I mean, it's pretty obvious what an assault victim is, but guys, what is an incest victim? What does that even mean? It's pretty obvious what an assault victim is, but what is an incest victim? What does this even mean? Incest is when people are related and have kids. So is the mom the victim? Or is the dad the victim? Or is the kid the victim? Is the mom the victim of incest even if the mom knew what was going on the whole time? Even if she wanted to have this relationship? Or is it the guy that's the victim? Even if the guy knew the whole time this is what the relationship was? Or the unborn baby who doesn't know. So are we going to go and call this baby a victim? This baby's a victim of incest now. Can we also call this baby a victim of abortion? If we're calling it a victim of incest? Or would that be politically incorrect to call it a victim of abortion? Even though we're going to call it a victim of incest. That's an interesting question. And this law also allows citizens to sue abortion providers and anyone who facilitates the deed. After hearing about this law, Sister Billy took it to social media to tell everyone how tired she was of hearing about women's rights being taken away. She's saying how sick it makes her that she's not hearing more men talk about this issue too. She's telling us that if we're not hanging out with our bros and talking about this, if we're talking about anything else besides this, we are part of the problem, man. Even though we have nothing to do with the people in Texas, even though we have nothing to do with the people in that legislator over there, we are part of the problem if we're not talking about it. See the people in India? I don't think they're talking about this, man, so they're a big part of the problem. You go to Russia? I don't think they're going to be talking about this, so I think they're a big part of the problem. Even though we're in a completely different state, we're not even living in Texas, we can't even vote for the people that's in that legislator, we are the big part of the problem. Since I'm not crapping my pants and losing my mind about this law, it's my fault that women aren't able to get their abortions. It is my fault. I better make sure that when I'm hanging out with my friends and having a good time, I'm going to bring up this topic and ruin everyone's mood. I'm just going to talk about this and nothing else. It's going to be awesome. And man, I, I'm sure nobody's paying Billy to post this on her social media. I'm sure she's just been on the edge of her seat listening to Congress debate about this bill. After she gets done with her concerts, I bet this is the first thing she does. She just pulls out her phone and looks at the Senate proceedings and just figures out what they're talking about. And it happened to be this this time. Sister Billy's strongest argument on this case that I think, Sister Billy's strongest argument on this case, I think, is that because it's the women's body, then they have the right to decide what happens. The right to your body is yours and yours alone. I wonder how all these people forget that when your girl gets pregnant, there is a body inside her body. Yeah, this girl definitely has a right to her own body, but doesn't the baby have a right to its own body also? Just because the baby can't communicate yet and can't say, Oh no, don't put that thing inside here and suck my brains out and smash my foot and rip my arm off. Oh no! 
just because the baby can't tell you that, it doesn't mean it might not be thinking that. I understand there are some extreme cases when a baby has a small chance of survival and the mother's life is in danger and where doing an abortion is the best choice even for the baby. But my biggest question is, why is it so easy for these people to ignore that the baby has a body too? Is the logic that we're using that if something is inside you, then it becomes part of your body? So like if you eat a bag of chips, it becomes part of you. If you eat a box of donuts, it becomes part of you. Well, yeah, it does, eventually. That's how metabolism works, that's how digestion works, but this is a different thing. If I put my finger in your mouth, and you close your mouth, and if you bite off my finger, that's still my finger, even if it's in your body. This logic is just a little bit confusing to me. A bunch of other singers joined in on this conversation, and I really like this one comment that someone made. This girl's name is Iskra Lawrence. Iskra says that this new law is an attack on women's rights and that there are so many reasons people might need to get an abortion. Some of the examples were if the relationship is abusive or there's a maternal death involved. Maybe if the abortion doesn't happen, then the mother's life is going to be in danger, and we already talked about that. There are some cases where that makes sense. If your life is in danger, maybe you can start wondering about getting an abortion. Another example that I didn't really like was not having the financial means to feed and raise your child. This kind of makes me wonder when she gives an example like this, do these celebrities forget that before a child is conceived, there are choices that a mom can make to avoid getting pregnant? One of them, these choices, can be to be celibate. Nobody would ever have to worry about getting pregnant if they were celibate. And there are many other things that a woman can do to avoid it. Another option that these moms have is contraceptives. Do people not know that these exist? Everyone's just forgetting about personal responsibility here. There are so many things that the women can do to avoid getting pregnant. I don't think it's okay to think something like that. You can't just think, Oh, I guess I just realized I can't afford this baby. I guess let's just go kill it. I mean, when do we draw the line, my dudes? The kids I have now are pretty expensive, and it takes a lot of work to feed them and raise them and buy their clothes and do all that jazz. I mean, can I just decide one day that they're too much for me and just euthanize them? I just come home from work one day and I say, Hey kids, I guess I didn't realize how hard it would be. Sorry. I guess I didn't think about it when I decided to make poor choices that led to me getting pregnant. See you kiddos in the next life. No, I obviously can't do that. That would be illegal. That would be murder. So why is it okay to do it right before the kid is born? I guess these people are just not thinking it through all the way, are they? I like your music, Sister Billy but you're 19 years old. Come on. This issue is much too complex for your understanding, girl. Maybe you can try having a child, and then you'd be able to understand. I would be more obliged to listen to your arguments if you did that, even if they're just the same old arguments from the echo chamber.